Hey kids, guess what time it is? I've been looking at some of my older videos and it's been about seven months since the last time we talked about carrots, so... You know what this means. This is my new favorite thing that has ever existed. I want to be buried in this, but wait, no, no, we're not, uh quite there yet. I have some legal issues I need to discuss, you know, some disclaimers before we get into the actual video. I, I, I said this in the previous carrot videos, but I had something drawn up here just for the sake of making it, making sure everything is plain as day, all right? Yep. Hashtag not a furry. Just to make everybody aware of what is or is not going to be present in this video, all right? Now that we have this all out of the way, please excuse me while I draw some whiskers on my face and then we can get on with the video. Okay, so, uh, Sue Long video. I actually did one of these a while ago, back before we knew it was called Sue Long, and in fact, before we even got to see Sue Long, so that was more of a theory video, if anything. That doesn't really count, no. Um, this is actually a great time to do this, because not only did we get to see Carrot's kawaii, badass, Sue Long transformation a few months ago in the anime, what's a good portmanteau of badass and kawaii? Uh, Bakwai! She was very Bakwai. That sounds like it should be a word in another language. Let me know if Bakwai translates out to anything. Let me know. But, um, we also got Pekoms' Sulong transformation just a few weeks back, okay? And I love what they did in the anime, because in the manga, Sulong Pekoms didn't really have a shining moment. It was more of just like, transforming into Sulong! Get out of here, straw hat! I'll buy you sometime! Aw, oh, crap! You know, and he got floored by Oven, and they were like, gouge his eyes out, like, oh! Oh no, that's not good, and we still don't know what happened with Peckoms. I'm, I'm assuming he's still alive, you know, but uh, we don't really know. He might not have eyes anymore, but um, yeah, in the anime, they expanded a little bit more. We don't get a lot more, like, new information or anything, but we get to see a few more flashbacks between Peckoms and Pedro, because Pedro was the only one that was able to rein Peckoms' raging uh, Sulong transformation in, for whatever reason, because they were bros, I guess, um, and in the anime, we got to see him rampage around town and knock out a few members of the Big Mom crew. Crew, just random nobodies. I think he fought against a few of the Decoplets, which, okay, who cares? They're the Decoplets. But uh, then we got to see that really cool scene with Sanji getting knocked on the roof by Pekoms, and he's like struggling to maintain his humanity, and he's like, No, you must flee! Escape now! I can't contain the raging beast within! But, okay, so that that was cool, and it ends the same way with Oven flooring him and them pinning him down and everything, but uh, it was cool to see that. Now, I'm assuming this was Oda's original intent because he signed off on it, but Carrot and Peckoms' Sulongs look remarkably similar in that um, all of their fur turns uh, super bright white, like neon blonde, basically, when they go into their Sulong. Now, for Carrot, that makes sense because her fur is already white, but uh, in the case with Peckoms, that wasn't the situation. So when he went into his Sulong, his fur went white and his mane and, you know, his uh, tail got super bushy and everything and the Electro was sparking out. So I'm just going to assume most other Sulongs are like that, considering, you know, maybe because of the light of the moon that affects the, the shade of the, the color of their fur when they go into that form. Um, they also get the blood red eyes that Carrot had, which was very imposing. I just love the contrast there. You know, their whole bodies go into like bathed in the moonlit whiteness, but then their eyes go like blood red. That's pretty damn cool, right? So I'm assuming if the other minks like uh, Inarashi and Nekamamushi or Wanda go into their Sulong, which they better during the events of Wano, um, it would probably look very similar to that just to keep with that aesthetic, right? Um, also, we never got the chance to see Pedro's Sulong transformation, unfortunately. I guess we could always see that in a flashback, but there's some really cool fan art of it uh, out there. A bunch of different interpretations. Most of them, though, think of Hercules if he was a jaguar. That was cool. Or just like Grimjow, except if he had blonde hair from Bleach. Just just roll with that, basically. So yeah, a lot of really cool Pedro Sulong designs. So let's talk about the Sulong transformation just in general. Okay, so all of the minks have this natural ability. I'm assuming it starts as soon as they're like babies. It is, you know, there's not really an age where you gain it. It's not it doesn't happen through puberty or anything. When if they stare at the moon for an extended period of time, they have to maintain eye contact. So just glancing up at a full moon is not going to do it, and it has to be a full moon for this to work. So nothing like waxing crescent or any of that bullshit, right? It has to be a pure moon that is, you know, unobscured by the clouds or anything like that, and they take a look at it, and I guess they just kind of stare at it for, I don't know, probably like 10, 15 un uninterrupted seconds, 
they start to feel the power. You know, I can imagine maybe it's like they're slowly fading in and out of consciousness. Maybe their hearts start to beat a little faster, like boom, 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 boom. And then they go into their Sulong form. Now, there was a little bit of a translation issue uh, that uh, I struggled with for a while. Um, and it was, can any of the minks go into Sulong? It's like a natural thing. Or do you have to go through particular training in order to achieve Sulong? Because I think there was a mistranslation when Peckham's was explaining this to Luffy when they were running through the mirror world because Peckham's is kind of just giving Luffy just a, a quick and dirty explanation of what the Sulong even is because Luffy didn't know. Um, and so Peckham's, I think, in the mistranslated version said, you know, I never uh, trained really well with it, but I got good enough that I could transform. Or it was like hinting at like, you need to train in order to just activate the form. That doesn't seem to be the case. Any mink can transform if they stare at the moon for a prolonged period of time, but their training is required to actually control yourself once you're in Sulong. Because first off, it completely changes your body. You know, Carrot got a lot taller and sexier and Bakwai. And so while in this form, also your output way more electro um, I'm assuming the original way that they're able to use electro is because they have the fur so it's like a constant like static electricity and maybe they have some way they can store all that excess static electricity in their bodies maybe they have a separate organ or something like the, the electro organ some way they can store all this electrical power and then they can summon it up whenever they want but going into Sulong it like knocks that into overdrive and so just they're like Super Saiyan 2 basically like the bioelectricity is just shooting off them whether they're they really want to or not you know just going into that form so a lot of energy is expended so even if you do have control over it now granted carrot is not a master Pedro trained her to the point where she can use it, but she was only able to use it for a few minutes before she really started to tire out and she had to retreat. Now, I'm sure somebody that's like a master of it, I'm assuming Inurashi and Nekamamushi are. I mean, if they're not, who would be, right? Probably Pedro for one, but he's not here anymore, so we're just going to have to move on. Um, a true master of the Sulong form might be able to maintain it indefinitely, or even not indefinitely, because that might sound a little bit OP. Maybe at least long longer than carrot you know maybe like an hour they can maintain so long maybe it has something to do with their like the the, the state their bodies in before they go into so long because this isn't like the resurrection from bleach it isn't like you go into so long and all your previous injuries are magically healed you know i'm sure that if uh you know uh carrot got damaged pretty bad and she's bleeding and then she looked at the moon i'm not sure going to her so long would magically fix the wound in fact that might be a detriment to go into that form with a previous injury i remember back when we still didn't really know what the Sulong was yet. All we knew was like a little bit of hints that when the minks stare at the moon, shit goes down. Um, but I remember there were theories thinking that like, oh, when the full moon happens, this transformation is going to occur in the minks and maybe Pedro will be able to heal himself. I'm like, heal what? He's jelly. Okay, maybe I would buy this if it's like, all right, Pedro suffered a, like, a, maybe not a, a light wound, but let's say he got, you know, sliced with Napoleon or something and he's bleeding out. He's like, oh man, he looks up at the moon and maybe he's like, okay, the minks have a transformation that allows them to heal their wounds. I could buy that. Sure, fine. But it's like pieces of Pedro. They're over there. He's stuck to a tree over there. Oh, there's his left ear over there, Bob in the water you know I don't think it's gonna be like unless he's like the T-1000 you know like the sunlight I'm not the sunlight the moonlight illuminates the cape where he detonated and it's just like the little pieces of Pedro begin to like goop together like it's like Mecha Pedro has been reborn that would be cool I'm not gonna say it's not cool but I didn't buy that theory you know um, then we find out what the Sulong is and it's like the Sulong does not make you invincible um, Yes, it is like the Super Saiyan transformation for the minks, but uh, anybody that watches Dragon Ball Z knows the Super Saiyan transformation isn't invincible either. Or Super Saiyan 2, or Super Saiyan 3, or Sa no, Super Saiyan 4 might be! I don't know if there was any opponent in GT that straight up floored Goku and Vegeta when they were in Super Saiyan 4. And then again, it's been a while since I've seen that. I don't know. Did Omega Shinron? I don't. I, I mean, he struggled against them. I don't think Omega Shinron just beat the crap out of Super Saiyan 4 Goku. He might have. It doesn't matter. But um, yeah, it's not invincible, all right. And just as the Big Mom Pirate said about Peckums, it's like he's going into his Sulong, but 
we have the numbers and we have the strength, okay? So, and even Peckham's knew he wasn't going to defeat all the members of the Big Mom crew just by going into his Sulong. He was just trying to distract them long enough so Sanji and Luffy could get away. Now, uh, we talked about this training. They had to go through some type of training in order to maintain control. So, I would imagine this is something every mink at least has to learn on a fundamental level because the one big concern I had, and one of the reasons why I kind of stuck to that idea, like, you have to train to even go into Sulong is... Because you imagine all the little kids, all the little child minks that are on Zo. Like, let's say a five-year-old mink, like a horse mink, stares up at the sky longer than he's supposed to one night when his parents are asleep in bed and all of a sudden, where horse? And he starts breaking the hut apart and his parents get maimed. And he's just like, okay, there, there has to be something here. There has to be some training for the kids. Maybe the kids have to wear, like, special goggles every night when there's a full moon. Like, okay, it's a full moon out tonight, honey, so make sure to wear your special goggles so even if you wake up to go to the bathroom in the middle of the night you don't accidentally take a look at the freaking moon because we can't afford to rebuild our house again you know like that would that would definitely have to be a concern but i would imagine they would have to at least get to the point where they can either control their sulong at a base level or they would have to just get old enough to know I can't control my Sulong or my Sulong is particularly violent. Uh, I'm sure, it, depending on what kind of uh, species of mink you are, that would depend on the nature of your Sulong. Okay, Carrot is a rabbit. Rabbits are not really known to be vicious carnivores that attack prey without hesitation, you know what I mean? Most rabbits I end up seeing in my yard just kind of turn and bolt whenever I try to capture them. But um, I've never captured a rabbit, don't worry. I'm nice. But uh, anywho... Uh, Peckoms was a lion, so carnivore, uh, same thing with Pedro, he was a jaguar, I'm sure if we saw Pedro so long, it would be maybe a lot stronger than carrots, but maybe it took him a lot more training to get to that point, and that was also why Peckoms couldn't really control his all that well, because of the nature. Kind of the same thing with, um, carnivorous zones, like Luchis, having a little bit more of a violent nature, just inherently, so going into his full leopard form, he would just have that kind of, you know, ferocity, you know, that blood bloodlust, even if that's really kind of uh, opposite of Lucci's personality, simply having that fruit changed him. So it might have been a situation like that. So what kind of training would this be? Well, I would imagine they would begin in a, uh, maybe like in a controlled environment, you know, maybe go to a section of Zoe on Zunisha that's maybe like an ancestral training ground to learn and master um, the Sulong. I just realized I'm talking about an ancestral training ground, learning to master the beast inside of you while wearing whiskers that look a lot like Naruto. Huh, okay, whatever. But let's just assume a place like that exists. Like, there's this closed-off area on Zunisha, like this giant stadium, and whenever a, a mink wants to learn how to control their Sulong, they go into the center of this arena. Maybe they're chained up or something, so they can't really rain. They can't, like, jump around and destroy the entire city or whatever. And they begin slowly, just, like, stare at the moon for five seconds and see if you can still have control, and then look away. And then look back up, and then look away, and then look back up, and then look away, and then keep looking back up at the moon, getting accustomed to how it, you know, affects you. Not really sure what the case is with that, like, um, you know, if it's just the light of the moon, if it's the sight of the full moon, like you see that perfect circle in the sky, bright thing amidst a black background, if that's the thing that really affects it. Because going back to Dragon Ball again, I mean, they did this a few different ways then. They had uh, Vegeta creating that artificial key moon. Uh, during the Saiyan saga, it's like, well, if we land on a planet that doesn't happen to have a moon, we can just make our moons. Boom. Done. So, and then later on in GT, it was like the Blutz waves, you know, the radiation, the unique radiation that's generated by the moonlight. That's the thing that really changes you. So, not really sure if that's going to come into play later, uh, but it might. It might very well. Like, let's say the minks on Wano need to activate their Sulong, but their full moon is too far away or whatever. Also, keep in mind, the One Piece world might have upwards of like seven or possibly possibly eight moons. Not really sure if Oda's gonna pull that into a, a case, but, I mean, if he did, it would make sense. It'd be like, yeah, you know, in our world, there's a full moon once a month, usually. Sometimes, once in a blue moon, uh-huh, there's, like, two full moons a month, but usually it's just one a month. So, here at Wano, I mean, some time has passed since the last full moon, but considering there's a lot more moons in the One Piece world, you could have a full moon, like, multiple times a week, and I don't think that would really, you know, cause too many problems considering you've already established there's multiple uh, satellites. So, yeah, Oda might include that, or he might just say, oh, uh, it's been a month since Totland, they can use Sulong again. Or they could have, like, well, 
we can't achieve Su Long the traditional way, but if we just, you know, stare at a bright light in the sky long enough, you know, I don't know how they would manufacture that or something, but if they can just stare at a really bright light in the sky for a certain amount of time, that could trigger it, right? Now, while in this form, the, the way that Carrot explained it is that, okay, once you've trained and you are able to control yourself, it is rather taxing, so whatever you're going to do, you got to make sure to get it done quick. Uh, in Carrot's case, she just leapt from the sunny, and, you know, because uh, her natural mink ability is just really good jumping skills because she's a, she's a rabbit, so she could jump way better in this form to the point where she can basically use Gepo. Not really, but basically where she jumped off the mast of the sunny and then leapt right above the freaking sea and then you know, landed right on Daifuku's fleet. So her jumping ability is a lot better. Uh, the electro, that bioelectricity is just emanating off her. So you can't even really touch Carrot in this form without getting shocked. I'm not even sure if that's intentional. That might just be a byproduct of the Sulong. Like, you can never learn to point to control that. It's just like you're outputting so much static. You know, you even get close to her, your hair starts standing up. And if you were to make the mistake to touch her, let's say you're using a sword and you're like, I'm going to attack you, crazy hot Bakuai Carrot lady and you go to attack her with the sword and the second the sword hits her you just, uh, you just get shocked and you get flung back like 50 feet you know um on top of that though she can also direct her electro using her claws her teeth because that was a brutal scene when she just landed on daifuku's fleet and she's doing all those ballerina flips that's really cool but then she busts out her claws and just like you know, and she's just biting into people and, like, electrical and shocking them. Like, those people are going to have serious nerve damage. They're not getting back up after that. You know, a lot of them are going to be down for the count, all right? So, yeah. Now, the way she stated you get out of this is uh, basically all you got to do is just not look at the moon anymore, which maybe implies that even while you're in Sulong, in order to try to maintain it for longer, you have to keep maybe eye contact with the moon. I'm sure it has something to do with the length of time you're staring at it. That's part of the training. It has to be. So maybe it's like a recharge gauge. Think of going into Sulong as like you're staring at the sky, you're staring at the moon, and you're slowly beginning to transform, and here's your like Sulong gauge, and it's like boom, 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 max out, go Sulong. But the second you go into Sulong and you break eye contact with the moon, because it's kind of hard to maintain eye contact with the moon while you're fighting, that gauge will slowly begin to lower until it hits zero, and then you'll transform back into your regular form, right? So maybe it's slowly getting lower, and while you're fighting, you have to keep looking at the moon, and, you, oh, 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 okay, back to the fight, and oh, 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 back to the fight, and you gotta keep that up if you wanna kinda keep an equilibrium to maintain it. Because Carrot explained, all you need to do to change back is just break contact with the moon or cover up your eyes and it can be with anything you could put on a pair of tinted glasses or you could just take your hat and just do this just anything to just you know shut out so you can't see the moon or possibly just the moonlight that might be a cause to it maybe the sulong transformation is initiated once you stare at the moon for a given amount of time but maintaining it all you maybe need is the moonlight touching you and so for that reason maybe you just have to make sure you get into a darker place or just cover your eyes or something and so the moonlight doesn't even hit your retinas at all and then you're good not really sure there's a lot of stuff that hasn't been explained about this yet but considering most of the minks of note are currently on wano we got inarashi we got nekamamushi we got wando we got carrot um i think sicilian and all the other musketeers are there you know we got all the guardians there so i'm sure this is going to be expanded upon there in fact now i'm imagining like if there were going to go into sulong in this arc which i'm sure they are um at some point you might have a scene with like all the minks standing as one all transforming into Sulong together and then like the chapter ends with like a double page spread of like Inurashi and Nekamamushi leading just this army of like electrified freaking battle warriors like uh Blackback that gorilla and Rhodey the bull they're going Sulong Sicilian who's this really epic lion you know like that would be really cool man to see all and Wanda who's like basically a werewolf <laughs> you know well actually you know that's that would be common because that's the whole lycanthropy thing is a werewolf. Although there's different kinds of lycanthropy. I Oh, wait, hold on a second. Let me grab a book. All right, let's see here. Chapter on lycanthropes. Uh, we got were bears, were boars, were rats. Who would want to play a were rat? Come on. Were tiger, that's pretty cool. And then, then the common werewolf. Is that all the wares we got? That's all that's all the wares we got. All right, that's neat. All right. Oh, cool. Look at the wear tiger. That wear tiger is like ready. He's like a swashbuckler. I like that. All these other dudes, like the wear bear, all he gets is just a battle axe, but the freaking wear tiger is like decked out. He's ready to go. 
But yeah, no were rabbits, unfortunately. Not even a were lion, you know, not even a were cat. I guess the were tiger counts as the were cat, but not the kind of cat Nekamamushi is. All right, right, okay, anyway, whatever. Um, but yeah, Wanda would probably look more like a, like a traditional kind of werewolf kind of character, right? So I could imagine them all transforming and then just charging at Onigashima and they're like outputting so much electricity. It's like, it's like lightning bolts, except they're not coming from the sky to the ground. They're coming from the ground to the sky. Actually, now that I think about it, I think that's how most lightning bolts work. You know, most of them do start from the ground and start from and, and shoot up to the sky rather than the other way. I'm, I'm pretty sure. But, uh, yeah. So, uh, th that's the Sulong. Uh, you know, there's some other stuff involved here, I'm sure. Like, the uh, minks are able to channel their electro into their weapons. We saw Pedro do this. So, I'm sure they could do the same thing while in Sulong. It's just, it puts a lot more strain on them, okay? Maybe it's something similar to, like, holding their breath or something. Like, you, you can feel it, like... <gasps> Okay, I'm gonna be good in this form for maybe a few minutes, but gotta take a breath at some point. All right, let's get this over with. Come on, giant genie guy. Boom, 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 boom. Uh, take a breath. All right, I gotta go back now. Okay. And also, it definitely doesn't seem like something you can use in succession. At least Carrot can't. Maybe when you become a master, you can, you know, flux in and out of your Sulong multiple times in the same night. But with Carrot, it really seemed to be like a one-and-done kind of deal. Like, stare at the full moon, transform, fight for ten minutes, and then she had to rest. She had to, like, basically pass out and take some, uh, take some nappy times for, like, a few hours, and then she woke back up, and it didn't seem like she was anxious to go immediately back into her form. Maybe she could've. Maybe she could've if they were really pressed up against an absolute wall, and it was life or death, and the sunny was burning, and it was about to collapse, and that was nothing else she could do. Maybe she could attempt it, but, uh, maybe she wouldn't be able to maintain the form as long the second time if she had to, you know, go back into it. So, at least in Carrot's case, it seems to be a thing, one and done per night. In Peckham's case, it seems to be, like, something he doesn't like to do period because he can't control it. And I'm sure Inurashi and Nekamamushi, they're the masters of it. So when we see them do it, that'll be the upper limit to what a Sulong is truly capable of and how you master that combat. I'm sure, you know, there's like a completely different set of like uh, battle arts when you're in Sulong as opposed to when you're just in your regular mink form. Just, you know, in the, in the Electro alone, because the minks have been able to use Electro forever and every single member of the tribe can do it. Uh, to the point where if somebody, like, like that's how they knew Randolph, the homie, wasn't a, a mink because he didn't use Electro. It's like every mink can use Electro. So maybe there's, like, a certain level of skill with Electro. Like, here's all these different things you can do with it, like martial arts with Electro and everything. But then, like, the next level of that is, like, only when you're in Sulong can you do these crazy, like, high-octane, like, you know, epic mink thunderbolt! And you can summon, like, the great thunder bomb or something, like, something crazy while you're in Sulong form. But only, like, the masters can do it. That would be really cool. Maybe like you could epic like an epic roar, but it shoots out electricity. That would be neat, right? So yeah, I can't wait to see what's in store in Wano. I, I would love to see at least uh, Carrot transform again and Inarashi and Nekamamushi, but I would like to see all the minks on Wano transform at the same time. It may doesn't make sense for them not to. It doesn't make sense for only like two or three of them to go into it. I'm sure others don't control it as much, but we'll we'll see. We'll see. These these are like the elite soldiers. Also keep in mind. Peckham's left when he was, I don't know how old he was, but he left Zoe. So maybe he left before they really had time to teach him about it. You know, he, he could do it, and you had Pedro teaching him, you know, the, like trying to maintain his sanity and stuff, but maybe he just didn't stick around on Zoe long enough for him to really learn how to control it. Maybe everybody else, especially in preparation for the fight at Wano, learned at least the basics, I hope. Well, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, this is Teching101 signing out. Later, everybody. Hashtag not a furry. Remember that. It's a very crucial fact.